I just watched the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero movie came out recently even though it was released in Japan long ago. Like anime studio keep making anime movie to suffer us anime fans. Back to the movie, saw a lot of hype around the movie but after watching it, it's just alright and I want to talk about it. No worries, there will be no spoiler in this video. Like I'm sorry guys, to be fair, I kind of overhyped myself by going to the cinema out of blue just to see it. It is weird because as a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen, the anime and manga, I like the hype throughout majority of the movie. But a lot of part of the movie is really underwhelming. Like I feel very conflicted because I really like how MAPPA did with the movie. It is way better than manga but as a whole, it's just not the best cinema experience. I know a lot of people on the internet want to compare it to Mugen Train and I will end the discussion right now so everyone can shut up. Both of them are just okay. Okay, nothing really special, I'll be honest. And I really believe both of them will be better in TV format. Of course, it's not a bad movie. I'm not saying that. It's mostly the source materials problem. Like the manga is not bad, but for a movie, it's just alright. Like MAPPA really add a lot of new stuff that the manga doesn't have and a lot of fan service in it that only manga reader can understand or anime fan can understand. Like a lot of things in the movie were not in the manga at all. You have to remember, this was released before the official manga. A lot of concept and idea were not fleshed out during the time. But the movie really did a good job connecting it back to the main series and built on the world of Jujutsu Kaisen. They really flesh out the character over there, especially the year 2 senior here who is year 1 right now. The connection and relationship between characters are way better in here than the manga. They really feel like friends doing things together. All the characters are very likeable, even the side character gets some spotlight. Some of the characters doesn't even exist in the manga at that time and they still get their time to shine. Overall, MAPPA just done a very good job for this movie. It's just great. The music, the animation, the art direction, the fight scene, the choreograph. Even though I don't really like the style of fight choreograph, I prefer the anime style more but still really hype to watch it. Like one of the characters team start playing when it's fighting, it's just hype. All of them are just really solid but the problem in the movie still hurt my experience in the whole. I made a video once concerning about the movie when it was announced and you can go and check the video out. My concern came true. The movie have a really weird pacing because there are a few chapters only in the volume and making all flow naturally will be an issue to solve. But they didn't even try to solve it. The movie is really really destroying at some part. Like each of them feel like their own thing. It really does feel like watching 4 or 5 episodes of anime on a big screen. And the emotional point of the movie felt very very weak. I feel like it would be better making it a OVA or a anime special in TV format might be even better. Overall, I don't really recommend people that haven't watched or read Jujutsu Kaisen to see this movie. It is very clear that this movie is for the fans and even though the movie is standalone thing, you need to be a fan to appreciate a lot of things. It even have a end credit scene in the end and only manga reader will understand what it is. So if you like Jujutsu Kaisen, go watch it. But if you never watch the anime or read the manga, maybe probably not. Even though it is its own thing, like I said. Watching it as a fan is better in every way. Anyway, bye.